What's going on everybody? LK here, back at it again with another video. And today, we're gonna talk about something that will pretty much help you in all fighting games, including Dragon Ball Fighters, and that is the concept of fundamentals. So, you might have heard some people, maybe on Twitter or Reddit or wherever you might read about fighting games, saying things like, oh man, you know, Fundamentals is just a buzzword, you know, you just kind of like do the thing and you just kind of like run at them and blah blah blah, right? But the truth is, fundamentals are the foundation where you build your skills from. That's why they're called fundamentals in the first place. And fundamentals are actually pretty important to fighting games and not only will having good fundamentals make you better at all fighting games, it also gives you a pretty clear path to improvement in every game that you play or choose to play. Or if you're playing a current game, it'll show you what you're doing wrong if some if you start understanding what you're lacking. So it's actually pretty worth getting a good understanding of what fundamentals are, right? So to just jump right into it, fundamentals are basically broken down into three parts in my opinion. You have your offense, your defense, and your neutral. So of course that's a lot to talk about. Those are three, if you look at those words like, okay, defense, right? Offense, and neutral. So defense is literally when you're blocking on the receiving end of things, right? Offense is when you're literally attacking them, rushing them down. And of course neutral is when neither of you are touching each other and you're vying for superior positioning so that you can get your offense going. So to start the series, I'm actually going to start with offense because I think it's the easiest out of the three to get better at. I've talked about it before that you should practice your one player things like offense and stuff like that and setups, but even that stuff aside, a lot of offensive concepts are easier to understand because they're one. it's kind of one-sided. Like You're the one who's doing this to the other person, you can practice it by yourself, etc. So for offense, let's just start with offense. Offense, as we know, is attacking people, and there are different weights in fighting games of like different types of offense. Okay. So generally your goal is to actually make it so they can't defend you. That sounds really silly, but in Dragon Ball, mix-ups overall, overall are not that strong. You want to aim to do the strongest mix-ups, right? So there are a couple of ways you can think about this. If you have a character that can do mix-ups all the time, like our boy Kid Buu, you do them. <laughs> like, sit there, you practice it, you do them. When you go into like 50-50s, it's a guess, but there's like some small conditioning in your guesses too. Like, are you going to do the same thing twice? Are you going to like alternate each time? Can you pay attention to their defensive pattern? It depends on how you think about doing it. But in the end, a 50-50 is 50-50. That is the biggest goal, right? Then we move to stuff like 6M, Dragon Rush, let's say reactable mix-ups, which are pretty common in this game, right? Most people will try to like, especially if they're good, they'll just try to react or options to like guard out, right? Dragon Rush is one of the biggest examples of things you need to condition someone with. This is an actual direct interaction because the Dragon Rush is not a really 50-50. A it's, it's basically borderline reactable or reactable depending on who you talk to. But it's still hard to defend anyway because you can condition the person a bunch of ways. You can show them that you can show them a situation that looks like you're going to drag a rush, but you do something else. So the common ones would be like people who do, I left a big delay, but like leaving big delays like that, or dashing a little bit extra, or it's actually the website messed it up, but with Kibu, Kibu players do this. So there's a bunch of little ways to set up timings that make it look like you're going to drag a rush and then you do something else and this will actually show you if they are truly reacting to you running up and that little green circle flashing for a little bit or if they're reacting to you just being there so they try to take the dragon rush dragon rush is good from an offensive perspective because it tells you how 
the opponent is defending this situation. As opposed to 50-50, where 50-50s are better because generally, if it's a true 50-50, who cares how they're defending? They have to guess. But with Dragon Rush, if you can figure out how they're defending it, then you can get even higher rewards than normal. Because a normal Dragon Rush combo is going to do like 3,000, maybe, with Gnosis. But like, let's say, I'm going to make up a number because I don't act know the actual number. Let's say that does like 4,500, right? Or let's say you do, let's say you do like a... And like snipe them that way, or you sit there for a sec and like pound them that way. Then if you get like a medium starter, then you're going to get like 4,500 or 5,000 damage. Just because you learned how they like to Dragon Rush. Going on with Dragon Rush too, like if you just do Dragon Rushes and they're teching, you're not going to get all the information you need. All you're going to get is, oh, they're teching my Dragon Rushes. You have to actually vary your offense some so that you can see what they're doing, specifically. So for example, I'm gonna use Kibu again. So the common one would be like, let's say they tech with jab, right? So okay. So there, it's obvious, but here, whoops, my bad. Okay, there you gotta counter hit in the same spot, right? So you know they're hitting something. You don't know if they're doing uh, anti-air or jab. They're basically only two ways people are going to attack. They're going to, or I should say four, really, but they're either going to jab you, anti-air you, tech with DR, maybe vanish. Vanish is a little rare, right? So if you get a counter hit, you'll know that they're doing something. You're just not sure what. If you want to know for sure, you'd have to do something, maybe a little risky, like IED over them, like do something like this. Oh, I did it too slow, my bad. Whoops, something like that though. Something like crossing them up uh, so that you know whether they're actually like taking a jab or taking an or something like that. Dragon Rush gives you a lot of information on their defense though. Another thing that gives you a lot of information about their defense is uh, this. This string that we see all the time. Okay, so that, that's like minus four, minus three, it varies by character, but because it's a key blast, they can do a few things about your follow-up. So it, it turns into a guessing game where are you going to just reset your pressure? Are you going to delay your next normal? Or are you going to like back off? There's a few things you can do, right? The opponent doesn't know if they think they're if they think you're going to reset your pressure they have to mash again if they if they think you're going to follow up they have to reflect if they don't know they have to do nothing that's where the guessing game comes in so you could use that string to see oh this is what they like to do in this spot so i'll do this so as you can see a lot of these offensive situations so drag rush and the key blast are examples of like conditioning so not just conditioning but also putting the opponent in a context and seeing their options you know their options already but seeing what they like to do and then trying to get reward from that which is good and you need that your goal should be 50 50 things like fuzzies uh mix-ups of assists like if you have go tanks or kid boo stuff like that um snaps all the things that are like guesses, those are the strongest, most one-sided things you can do. After that, you want to go for things like this. Um, anything like this, uh, they can get out, and sometimes you might just be wrong, but you need to take that information and use it against them. As a next point, to talk about not Dragon Ball 2, Different games vary. Like most games have 50-50s in general. Like even if it's not like fuzzy mix-ups and stuff, like you really can't escape. Like every game has some type of like 50-50 mix-up, like ambiguous cross-up or something that you have to deal with, right? But how much conditioning, like how important it is and how important it is to extract information based on your offense varies 
by game. It varies a lot by game, actually. So in this game, technically versus games, your goal is to just 50-50 them to death, right? Uh, but in like a Street Fighter or maybe like a Blaze Blue, you might have to like extrapolate information by building offensive structures like like this, like that. You might need that to actually see how they're defending, because you don't always get your setups, right? Okay, hopefully that's a good start. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I think offense is a little bit simpler than other the other two topics, defense and neutral, especially neutral. Uh, defense is a little bit more complex, even though it's literally just the opposite. Like it's when you're guarding rather than when you're attacking. But I guess that's the nature of being in a disadvantageous state in the first place, right? But again, I digress. If you have any questions, let me know. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and we'll continue this next week. Okay? Peace out.